Hello, my name is Rodney. Here's my verse for this week. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Amen. Hello, my name is Ryan. Here's my verse for this week. Proverbs 18, verse 21. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Amen. Hello there, kids. Hi. Hi. My name is Teacher Brian. And I'm Teacher Caleb. And we are here again in this awesome and beautiful day. Yeah, to share the word of God as always to you kids and to everyone who watches us. Uh, watches, watches, uh, eh? watches yeah. us. Oh, watches us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watches us. And we are grateful. Thank you so much. Uh, Caleb is there. Word of prayer. Then we will continue. Kids, let us pray. Our everlasting Father, we come for you this morning to give us the gift of life. Thank you for seeing us here through another week, oh Lord, and even as you are here again to, to hear of your word, Lord, I pray that you may be able to speak and to us that you may help us to learn a thing or two, that whatever we are going to learn, that we are going to use it um, in our day-to-day -day lives. I honor and bless you, and it is in your own name. We do believe in trusting. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Wow, how is your, how is the weather in your country? Is it cold? Is it raining? Is it sunny? Is it snowing? Here in Kenya it is raining. It's, Cats and dogs. <laughs> it's raining really serious. Very bad. Mm. Wow, I don't know how about your country, but if it's raining, if it's, if it's cold, dress warm. If it's hot, you can... What do you do? You find clothes that are... You don't put on sweaters when it's very hot, yes, right? Yes, you don't. <laughs> Wow, so today, uh, by the way, before we continue, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for sending your verses and thank you for your consistency. Thank you for always being there, watching us, especially our team from the U.S. and uh, many others even here in Kenya and uh, all the parts of the world. We know that you're watching us and thank you so much. The Lord bless you. So, um, today we are reading from the book of John chapter 5 from verse 31 to verse 40 yeah from verse 31 to the, the verse 40 i'll read up to 35 the bible says if i testify about myself my testimony is not valid there is another who testifies in my favor and i know that his testimony about me is valid you have sent to john and he has testified to the truth not that i accept human testimony but i mention it that you may be saved. John was a lamp that burned and gave light, and you chose for a time to enjoy his light. The witness I have is more important than John's. I am doing the very work the Father gave me to finish. It gives witness that the Father has sent me. The Father who sent me has himself given witness about me. You have never heard his voice. You have never seen what it really looks like. And his word does not live in you. This is because you do not believe the one he sent. You study the scriptures carefully. You study them because you think they will give you eternal life. The scriptures you study give witness about me. But you refuse to come to me and receive life. Wow, wow. Such a very powerful uh, segment that you have just read in the Bible. And I hope you have learned something out of it. Dr. Caleb, what, mm. is, uh, what, what, what does testimony what does testimony entail? Or what is a testimony? Uh, a you testimony. Can, yeah, in just your normal understanding. <laughs> when, when somebody testifies about you or testifies about a postal, about me, what does it mean? A testimony is, is, is an account. Mm -hmm. It's an account oh. about the things that someone has done. Uh -huh. Maybe wow. in your life mm -hmm. or... Okay, maybe mostly, mostly in your life. Mm -hmm. That is why when, when somebody gets saved, um, they usually give out a testimony mm -hmm. because after they get saved, there are things that the Lord has done for them. Mm -hmm. So they give an account of what God did for them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, actually, that is what uh, testimonies are all about, giving an account mm -hmm. of someone. Just how can we make it even simple? Maybe speaking about someone, about what they have done, mm -hmm. you know, it's much simpler you know an account what somebody has done uh, about them just telling people what they have endured or what they have gone through 
that is a testimony mm. and you have maybe achieved or accomplished and uh, here the bible talks about testimonies testimonies about jesus so uh the segment that we just read here has some lessons that we can get and grasp mm-hmm. and uh, move with them so Tishakaleb, did you get anything uh well from the from the first two verses it says that if i give witness about myself mm-hmm. it does not count mm-hmm. there's someone else who gives witness in my favor and mm-hmm. i know that his witness about me counts mm-hmm. so these are the words of of jesus mm-hmm. jesus while well, he was telling this to the people mm-hmm. well he was saying that if he gives a testimony about the things that he has done mm-hmm. himself mm-hmm. it doesn't matter it mm-hmm. does not count mm-hmm. but he knows that there's some someone else mm-hmm who is his father god mm-hmm. in heaven mm-hmm. who testifies in his favor mm-hmm. and he knows that whatever god says about him is yeah, true it's true yeah so this means that um in life well it is basically well trying to tell us that we should not um talk about ourselves that much mm-hmm. because if you want to know that you are you are someone um good do not speak about yourself mm-hmm. do not keep on going and telling everybody about all the good things that mm-hmm. you've done let mm-hmm. people say mm-hmm. like for example ah teacher Brian has done one two three things that are good mm-hmm. but there's no way that when teacher Brian goes talking about the things that he has done that people will believe him mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. you know people believe things about people when they come from somebody else mm-hmm. so um this basically tells us that we should we should strive not to brag about ourselves not talk about ourselves that much mm-hmm. but in everything that we should do we should just do them normally just do them without without going around mm-hmm. telling people that oh you see the other day i went mm-hmm. and helped so and so uh, and just yeah. let that person the person whom you have helped i gave them food yeah it was great i went to a children's home mm-hmm. i did one two three things mm-hmm. Let the people know you have done good to them. Mm-hmm. Speak about whatever you did, not mm-hmm. you speaking about whatever you did to the other people. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah. That 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 is uh, very important. Like teacher Caleb said, it's, it's quite a good lesson mm-hmm. that you don't go bragging, saying I did this to someone. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the only testimony that I saw Jesus maybe. Um, telling people to go and testify and maybe to show themselves to the priest uh, maybe healing and that that was that was what god had done to them mm-hmm. you know not what you go and help someone and you tell the whole world you know what that shoe is wearing ha <laughs> you don't know mine. that is mine that is me eh? you buy someone a sofa and you go to their house mm-hmm. and you start saying is this that sofa mm-hmm. and they have a guest and you what what is wrong or when you help your friend with a pen you tell the whole class imagine today bryson i'm the one who gave him the pen he's using yeah and he's i mean all that when you help you don't just try and start telling people all that but also i also get it in this way uh jesus saying that i if i testify about myself my testimony is not valid there is one another one who testifies in my favor uh in life live a good life that mm-hmm. god can testify about you you know when we go to heaven god will give an account for each and every one of us and some to some he will say get away mm-hmm. i do not know you doers of evil if you do evil god will not testify good things about you mm-hmm. yeah trust me god will say this one um this one stole this one did this one did and he will give a testimony anyway but he say that one is not fit mm-hmm. but there is another testimony that matters the testimony of welcome well done good and faithful, faithful servant. servant so living your life righteously god gives a testimony about you mm-hmm. you know when you live your life in accordance to the will of god who do you live to please your mommy oh wow your daddy ah okay your friends or your teachers but whom you should live to please more is god so that he can give a good testimony about you so this is this was jesus and yet jesus was the son of god mm-hmm. but he was so concerned that he i mean he was so concerned about his life and how he lived so that god would give a good testimony about him mm-hmm. right so that 
that we are not exceptional. We should live our lives so concerned that when God is giving a testimony and saying this one, he saw he had an opportunity to steal, but he did not steal. Mm -hmm. He had an opportunity to 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 what to beat someone, but he did not. He had an opportunity to bite someone's hand, but he did not or she did not. Mm -hmm. He had an opportunity to call someone bad names, but they did, not. they did not. He had an opportunity, you know. And then he says, now he preached the word. He told people about me. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, all that. And that is what that matters. That is the best testimony that God can give about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So more lessons to Jacob. Uh, uh, here mm -hmm. in in verse thirty seven and thirty eight, mm -hmm. the Father who, who sent me has Himself given richness about me. You have never heard His voice. You have never seen what it really looks like, and His word does not live in you. This is because you do not believe the one He sent. Mm -hmm. So this means that um, well. At that time, the people, the people did not really believe in Jesus. Not everybody believed mm -hmm. in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, we see the Pharisees, the teachers of the law, the mm -hmm. Sadducees, mm -hmm. the scribes. Mm -hmm. They did not believe about Jesus. They, they thought that he was, he was a blasphemous person. Because, yeah, because how can just a how random can be child a son of, God? of a carpenter yeah. be the son of God? Mm. You I mean, we've seen you being born in a manger, even not in a very good in place. A manger. And you're saying, what, what, what do you house, think you are? And you're saying that you're God's son. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Jesus knew that he was doing his father's work mm -hmm. because the father had sent him to do something, which was mm -hmm. at the end of mm -hmm. it all, to mm -hmm. die for our sins. Mm -hmm. So he knew that if he wanted um, God to give a good account of him, and because he was obedient to his father, mm -hmm. he had to finish his work. But mm -hmm. he says that... Um, you, you have not heard his voice, you have not seen what it really looks like, and his word alone live in you mm -hmm. because you do not believe in the one you sent. Mm -hmm. So this means that we should we should believe in, in Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. Mm -hmm. Even as young children, yeah. salvation is important. Mm -hmm. You know, because once once you're in Christ, um things things go on well. Because mm -hmm. once you live in Christ mm -hmm. and you and you live according to the ways that that Christ expects us to live. This is him. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, during judgment day, mm -hmm. when we go to heaven, mm -hmm. of course, when Jesus even sees you, will be, ah, Caleb. I know him. I know I him. I know the works that you've done. Mm -hmm. Good and faithful servant. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, my no, son. That should be everybody's desire, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. in No matter how young you are, yeah. in your daily lives, mm -hmm. strive, strive to do good things. Yeah. It does not matter... Even the smallest thing that you just do things without even knowing if you've done good or mm -hmm. just just do do good things. Do the will of God yes, because, all the time. Because at the end of the day, God will, God will reward you. Yeah. Because our our riches in heaven are plenty. Mm -hmm. They are more than the riches that are in in the world. Yeah. Because we are told that we should we should store our treasures in heaven, not mm, on earth. Not on earth. Yes. Where so, moth and ants can feed on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you should you should strive to, to live good lives. Wow. Awesome. And let me ask you, Teacher Caleb. Mm -hmm. I know you've interacted with your friends out there mm -hmm. and you've interacted with also those those maybe in school you've met those who are not born again mm -hmm. and uh, they ask um if you are born again what what should you tell them well if you know that you're born again you should be bold enough to to declare jesus as your personal savior yeah. you should declare that you are saved because once you say such a thing you have already set a boundary yeah there are some things that they will not engage in, you in incorporate you in yeah like for example if they want to plan a strike there's no way that they are going to ah to ah, shakali be saved ah. mm. So there is no way that we can incorporate him here because yeah. even if you incorporate him here, he might sell us out to the teachers. Mm. You see? Yeah. So, so um, even if even if you find people outside here who are who are not saved and you engage with them, mm. just try as much as possible to share the word of God with them. Yeah. Let them know that you're saved. Yes. Let uh, them know that you're saved. And how your salvation comes about. Yes. Even in your actions, mm -hmm. do things mm -hmm. that show them that. 
Chakale what Chabran is living, yeah. This life that is living is according to what God says. So, wow. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so saying that you're saved is is a testimony by itself. Mm-hmm. It's like saying Christ died for my sin. That's a testimony. You know, and we do not shy off while giving that testimony at all times. And I think I have said this again and again. Never forget to say that you're saved. Anywhere you go, as you introduce yourself, it could be even in a games in a games meeting and you're doing introduction, you don't know each other. Say my name is so and so. You know, I am Brian and I am saved. And that is important. Mm. That helps you like Chakaleb says, it gets you out of so many things. It helps you to to avoid so many um troubles ahead mm-hmm. of you. Mm-hmm. You know, you will not find bad, bad company trying to to get you no no bad company wants a saved person. Is not. that uh-huh. like you are no because I think that you want a snitch. Yeah, you Huh. Ah, no. No, 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 no. We can't have pasta. Yeah. I no. Pasta. Uh, no, 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 no. This is a very bad mistake. Yeah. So live your life as a I mean as a testimony. Know that Jesus let God testify good things about you. And let your life let people know that you testify about Christ. And testifying about him is also uh the same thing as witnessing. Tell mm. people that you know Christ and you live your life in accordance to his will. And uh, you will not find yourself being uh, led to uh, some things. You remove yourself to many fights and many uh, quarrels and many things, you know. Yeah, so how do you live your life? How is your life? Can God testify good things about you? If God came today, if God came right now, this right second, see, see them, see them, they are saying, God, forgive me. <laughs> yeah, so if God came right now, Will he testify the good things are uh, good things about you? Would he say you did good, or he will? He, uh, we will all be shocked. Be like, ah, he also did that. Mm. Ah, <laughs> oh my God, yeah. So live your life, right, and testify. Give your testimonies. Tell people that you're saved, and that is important. Mm. That is very key. Yeah. So do you have a pattern, George? Well. Um, on that point where you were saying that if 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 Jesus was to come right now, mm-hmm. how many would go? Well, there's a book I'm reading at home mm-hmm. called Left Behind. It mm-hmm. is about the last days. Uh-huh. That book, that book is really shocking because it happened just in one single day. Mm-hmm. People are disappearing All of a sudden, out of nowhere. Two are seated like this. Like for example, if you are seated here, me and Chabran, and one of us goes. Chabran goes. Yes, or one of us goes. Not you. <laughs> one of us goes. Uh-huh. Or we both go. Uh-huh. But our clothes are left. I left behind. On the seat. Uh-huh. You know, it is shocking because it um it somehow um um tries to fascinate people because you may see that you have been living a good life, uh-huh. but at the end you see that all the people who have gone, they are either um saved. Uh-huh. Or they are they are just practically nice people who have mm-hmm. been who have been just trying to live their best lives. Mm-hmm. They have they have been avoiding sin. Mm-hmm. They have been um um just just trying to live according to God's ways. Mm-hmm. But you you who has been between the world and salvation, you are left behind because there is no way that you can be in the world and be in Christ. Mm, you can't you have two masters. There is no way that can happen. Mm-hmm. So so that book really got me thinking because yeah, it shows that we should really be careful about the way we live our lives. Mm-hmm. Because um if all of a sudden people are just disappearing out of nowhere, you know? Because we are even told in the Bible that mm-hmm. nobody knows the time, nor the hour mm-hmm. when when Jesus will come back. Mm-hmm. Just like I've said, people are even getting lost in a flight. Mm. You're in a plane, you're ah, missing people. Even the pilot? Not, I hope no, the, the pilot, pilot remained. Oh. But now some of the passengers, eh. and most of the people who disappeared were children under 12 years of age. Oh my. Even the... Uh, a certain pregnant woman who was in the delivery room, mm-hmm. the child was taken away <laughs> in the stomach. <laughs> you see? But my point is that we should be careful about the lives that we live. Uh, Strive to live holy lives holy according lives. to 
to God's ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So Teacher Caleb didn't say that to scare you. Yeah, I'm not scared you guys. It's, it's telling you the truth that we need mm-hmm. to align ourselves and live in the will of God. As we live, let our lives be testimonies. We live right for and with God, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, as we do that, let people know that we are serving a certain master, and that is God, yes. that is Jesus Christ, that is our master, okay? So let your lives be what? A testimony. And also, don't fear to testify about Christ to your friends. You, you, just, you, you just go to them and you say, I'm not going to do anything bad, I'm just going to stay with them. <laughs> And as long I don't have to tell them anything, I'm just uh, even as they smoke cigarette, me, 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 I will not smoke. Even as they take beer, me, I will not take. And all that, you know, yeah. So, live the right lives. Our memory verse comes. Our the memory verse of this week comes from the book of John, chapter five, and verse thirty-one. And verse thirty-one. What does your Bible say? If I give witness about myself, it doesn't count. Again? If I give witness about myself, it doesn't count. If I give witness about myself, it doesn't count. The another version says, if I testify about myself, my testimony is not valid. Yeah, so remember to... God, your part is shaker. Okay. Read. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so remember to... Read, memorize, understand, then... You will record yourself reciting, then you send it to us so we can showcase it in our next class. Yeah, send it to us through the number. It's a WhatsApp number. You can send it through the WhatsApp. Yeah, and we will showcase it in the next class. Thank you so much. Wow, you have been so consistent. Make sure you subscribe if you like. Today we don't have any beef with anyone. Yeah. No beef. You see, we are all smiling. Today, today is a very good day. <laughs> Shakaleb is smiling too. Today. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. guys are doing good. You're doing good. Yes. So you can smash that subscribe button. You can click the share button and like the video so that we can create more and more and know that we are together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'll say a word of prayer and we'll be done. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We thank you. Thank you for the time, that the chance that we have had before your presence and before you, Lord. We pray that, oh God, you help us uh, to live lives that are good and pleasing to you. Help us, oh Lord, to not to fear. Help us not to shy uh, from saying that you are our God, oh God. Receive the honor. Receive all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and believe. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Thank you so much from us to you. Bye. 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 Bye.